Zanzi, welcome to another African Farming Digital. Now we all know it is almost impossible to keep an animal standing still so that you can administer medicine. However, with the right dosing techniques, you can administer medicine to any animal. I'm talking to Siana Mabaso and we're here in Hamanskral and we're going to be talking about dosing methods. Sianda, welcome once again. Thank you for having me again, Tavi. So, let's talk about dosing methods. When is it the right time to dose an animal versus other methods? Dosing is uh, associated with medicines that have to come orally through the mouth. So, it will depend on the farmer's preference. If the medicine that they would like to use, uh, they prefer to use it orally, or and then they buy those medicines, or if it's injectables, then you buy the injectables ones. But you cannot buy an oral uh, medicine and then inject it. That would be incorrect. So you have to depend on the preference of the farmer. So I want to know, um, how do you prepare an animal just before you dose it? So um, uh, we've got the, the, the syringes that we are uh, using for dosing. Some can be manual, some can be uh, uh, semi-automatic. If you have the animals that have the same weight, you can use the automatic ones. Um, so when it comes to preparation, you have to make sure that the tools that you are using, uh, they are clean and again, that front part of the nozzle is nice and smooth, doesn't have any scratches because you can damage the inside of the mouth of the animal. So you need to make sure that is well prepared and again that the animals are restrained or standing still for you to administer the product uh, correctly. When is it the right time to dose an animal? Because you and I spoke earlier on and said, let's say now we release the animals to go and eat, and when they come back, one of them is very, very sick. Is that the right time to actually administer a dosage at that time? Um, uh, depending on the disease, uh, because before you use a medicine, you have to identify the disease first, what you are treating first. And there, there are many emergencies that you have to treat an animal right there and there. We strongly advise farmers to do early treatment. So it can be at any time, but some are planned uh, according to season. If you supplement for your vitamins in the winter, you'd know that uh, you would need to put on your uh, vitamins maybe in May or June, depending on the program that you're following on the farm. So now the animal's ready, head is upright. What is the next step? Um, first, we, we weigh the animal. So once you know the weight of the animal, and we then now refer to the product packet insert, and we know how much uh, we need to, to, to dose that animal, we draw that required amount uh, into the, uh, uh, the applicator or the syringe, and then we will then approach the animal to, to, to dose it. So the, 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 the best thing that farmers need to be aware of is that they don't need to, they must not raise the head up too high. So if you look at the, the, the level of the eye, the eye and, the, and, the, and the ear, the eye must not be way above uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the ear because now the animal cannot swallow. And again, it must not be uh, much lower than the ear because the medicine is just going to fall off. So what they, they would do is to try and make it, uh, 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 keep it in the, in the upright position. And once your medicine is ready, there are many techniques with the small stock. You can even put one of your fingers on the other side, just uh, touch the top uh, of the hot pallet and you put the medicine uh, on the other side, directing it on this other side, not onto the throat, because you don't want the medicine to just go straight down, uh, down the throat. So once you now administer the medicine slowly and moving your finger on the other side, because what the animal will do, it will try to move out your finger with the tongue, but then it's swallowing the medicine at that time. So those are the techniques that farmers need to be aware of and they must make sure that they don't raise the head too, too high. If the animal is fighting, they must make sure that they restrain it well, that's give it some time to, 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 to rest. And to also remember that um, it is not easy to, 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 to train cattle when they are just alone on the, on the crush pen. They like to be in a group, so you want to put maybe two or three so that it doesn't uh, um, uh, move around uh, a lot and feels uh, a bit safe and, and comfortable. So Sianda, you just gave me all the tips of keeping the animal safe, but what about keeping the handler safe? I mean, imagine now I have to dose a Brahman bull. <laughs> That's not gonna end well. Oh, of course, uh, it's a 500 kg versus 70 kgs. So it is always uh, important that if you are farming with cattle, the first thing that you must have is the uh, uh, holding facilities, the crush pen. There is no way that you can successfully farm with cattle without those facilities because when you have to treat, have to vaccinate, 
you cannot tie them around the tree and with those vaccines. So it's very important that your safety also comes first. So you must have a crash pen in place. If it's also affordable, you can have the neck camp to safely restrain the animals. Tiana, thank you so much for that. And I actually enjoyed talking to you. Thank you so much. I enjoyed talking to you too. Thank you for having me. There are tools that can help you keep your animals safe. For more information, please visit AfriVet's website at www.afrivet.co.za. See you again next time and thank you so much for watching African Farming Digital. Remember, we farm better together. Get your free copy of the African Farming Magazine now at your nearest co-op and at africanfarming.com. We cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.